A huge hole about 20 times the size of Earth has torn through the Sun, the second in less than a month. This gaping coronal crater is hurling 1.8 million mile per hour solar gusts towards Earth, which will hit us this Friday or Saturday. Coronal holes are a frequent characteristic of the Sun, though they show up in various locations, especially near the poles and with greater regularity at different periods of the Sun's solar cycle. The solar cycle is the cycle that the Sun's magnetic field goes through approximately every 11 years. Every 11 years or so, the Sun's magnetic field completely flips. This means that the Sun's north and south poles switch places. Then it takes about another 11 years for the Sun's north and south poles to flip back again. The beginning of a solar cycle is called a solar minimum or when the Sun has the least sunspots. Over time, solar activity and the number of sunspots increases. The middle of the solar cycle is the solar maximum or when the sun has the most sunspots. As the cycle ends, it fades back to the solar minimum and then a completely new cycle begins. They are more prevalent when the sun is at a lower stage in its 11-year cycle. The coronal holes effects are usually harmless, although satellite communications and high-altitude radio transmissions can sometimes be temporarily disrupted. What we are referring to a hole here isn't a hole per se, it is just a dead spot or a spot that has gone comparatively colder as opposed to other areas on the sun's surface. That is why dead spots or cold spots usually appear darker in color than other parts of the moon. The first hole that was discovered on March 23 was 30 times the size of Earth. On March 24, that is the next day, this first coronal hole had caused dazzling auroras that had filled up the night sky with electric purples and greens. They were triggered by a G3 storm, which is a strong solar storm capable of disrupting electrical systems and satellite operations, including orientation problems. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, which examines the Sun, has caught both holes and this second hole sits on the Sun's equator. While the image may appear frightening at first glance, it does not suggest that we are in peril. Scientists are still keeping a careful eye on the situation to see if the winds will affect the Earth's magnetic field spacecraft such as satellites and in-flight rockets and other vital pieces of technology. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.